and she's good to go. So much more manageable. <laughs> this is the long line of hair we have repotted today. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Rachel and I run my own business here in Auckland, New Zealand called Growing Green and we sell houseplants and houseplant related supplies and here on this channel we make videos all about houseplants and those supplies. And we also make vlog style videos on behind the scenes of the business, markets we go to, etc, etc. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, make sure to consider subscribing down below and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. But anyway, today's video, as you already know by the title, is we are going to be going through my entire Hoya collection and repotting everything and i mean everything and this is part one of two um i got to the end of filming this video and thought yep nah this is just gonna be way too long for a single video so it's gonna be two part series and this is part number one so i have been buying up hoya lately like it has been christmas i mean it's almost christmas but i have just been really really obsessed with hoya lately and i've kind of been putting my plants just as a whole on the back burner for the last i would say at least six months i am going to take some time over the next few months to really really build up my houseplant collection to obviously hopefully have a few more plant drops on my website like a few more regular plant drops or just even at some point maybe have plants just continuously on the website so yeah that is what is happening today we are going to be going through every single Hoya I'm going to be showing you them one by one and going through them potting them up there are plants everywhere <laughs> and this part is going to be mainly based around all my Hoya that I'm going to be popping up trellises and then in the next video I'm going to be doing all of my hanging Hoya which you can see above my head here so yeah I hope you really enjoy this video and if you do make sure to hit the like button down below it helps me to know what kind of videos you guys like me to make and yeah let's just get straight on into the video so this is what we are going for here so I'll bring it up and show you close up I obviously love popping them in clear pots as I know a lot of you guys do um, to help with the watering pest management to see if it's got root rot all kinds of stuff like that so we will obviously definitely be putting them all in clear pots I'm obviously going to be labeling them and popping them on a trellis and I've given this one just a little clip to help it climb up the trellis now all of these things if you live in New Zealand you can find on my website check it out in the description box down below and I will have some products linked below this video as well but yeah this is my Hoya Matilde and another tip that I learned uh, yesterday is to make sure that when you are helping your Hoya climb your trellises to actually wind them anti-clockwise this is how they do it in nature don't ask me why but I think that is really really cool so I'm going to be doing this with all of my Hoya I have another example here of one on a large trellis I will show you these all properly at the end once they're all potted up this is a Hoya Acuta heart-shaped splash and I've done the same thing in a 10 centimeter clear pot potted it up in our houseplant mix and I've trellised it up the pole here so this is the next one that I'm going to be doing here this is my Hoya Pachyclata Pachyclata it's going to be down here for you um, and it's actually not that big at the moment but I am going to be potting it up into a larger pot with a large trellis because this is as you can see a larger kind of Hoya so it's going to need a lot of space to grow and I'd like to repot them as less as possible so let me grab what I need so I've got my 10 centimeter clear pot our houseplant mix some butterfly clips and a trellis so obviously we're going to start off by potting up the Hoya itself I'm just going to be taking some of our houseplant mix this is way easier <laughs> putting it into the pot and potting this guy obviously let's take a look at his roots oh would you look at the roots on this guy amazing I'm actually gonna leave a lot of this tree fern fiber on because it's so good for the Hoya um, I'm just gonna break up the roots a little bit so they have a little bit of freedom all right so let's pop her in there um I'm gonna go that way so that I can put the trellis on the other side like that and I always like to tap my Hoya in like this rather than push them down uh, mainly because that just compacts the soil too much so once that is done I'm just going to stick this smack bang in the back of it the right way around of course <laughs> like so really really get it in there and then fill a little bit more soil around the top again and there we have it one happy trellised Hoya I'm gonna pop it over here for now I'm just going to write a label really quickly so this is a Hoya I have to google how to bloody spell the damn thing so it's a Hoya Pachyclata variegata now I always put my name tags in the front so I can see exactly what it is without having to fumble around for the name tag in the back of the pot and it's good to go so the next one I'm going to be potting up is my Hoya Cordata as you can see it is popping out some really cute new growth 
at the back there they're really nice and fluffy so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting this one into a 10 centimeter pot with a 45 centimeter trellis because again it's a little bit small now but it will grow into a nice big plant the roots are a little bit more buried on this one but as you can see there are little roots popping out everywhere so i definitely know that it is in really fantastic condition so again i'm just going to do a little bit of loosening of those roots and i'm just going to pop it right in the middle of the pot and then again fill it up with the house plant mix Give it a light tip, a little bit more soil, and again we are all good to go. So I'm just going to use a butterfly clip to connect the tendril to the trellis. As you can see this one is a little bit um, out in the oven at the moment, but it will continue to just climb up the trellis. So yeah, that is my cordata done. Better write him a tag to Hoya Cordata. So this is the next one here. This is my Hoya Croniana and it's actually looking a little bit thirsty. So I'm looking forward to getting this one potted up and watered. So I've already got a tag, which is nice. This is a smaller Hoya, so I'm going to pop it on a nine centimeter pot and a 30 centimeter trellis. Now this one is growing in straight tree fern fiber as well. This one was grown by myself. It's got a really nice set of roots going on on the bottom there. One happily potted up Hoya Cruniana. Let's pop her tag in the front. And she's good to go. Again, this one was grown by me. This is a Hoya Etipensis. Ooh, hang on a minute. I'm actually going to triple plant a few of these on a trellis because I need some really, really solid mother plants. So these ones are going to go in one pot. And I'm actually going to unpot the Cruniana I just did and add an extra one into that pot as well. It's so hard to pop three cuttings up at the same time when you've only got one pair of hands. Cool, pop the trellis in. And a bit more soil. We have three plants on one trellis. I'll give you a better shot of all of these at the end. All right, next up is my Inavirigated Hoya Hushkalania. I don't know. It'll be up on the screen again for you. As you can see, it is popping out a new little growth there, which is really exciting. But it is in this tiny, tiny pot for such a big plant. <laughs> so this one is definitely getting a big trellis. Definitely. That one's going to go so well up this trellis. So the next Hoya on my list is my Hoya Macrophylla Snow Queen, which as you can see is putting out two really, really nice growth points. So that one's going to go on a big trellis. Again, this tree fern fiber doing its job. Look at those amazing roots. It's so good. Perfect. Now this one doesn't need any uh, butterfly clips yet because obviously the tendrils aren't long enough. But yeah, good to go. Now this one is one of my absolute favorites in my collection right now. This is my Hoya New Guinea Ghost. Oh my goodness, just the silver on those leaves is so, so beautiful. I'm so looking forward to this one becoming so, so big and beautiful. Oh, this one is going to go, mm, I'd say a big trellis. It's small now, but it's going to get a lot bigger. Again, no tendril yet, so that one's just going to go as is. Not running out of space for these beauties, but we're almost done. All right, here we have another one of my favorites in my collection at the moment. It is this Hoya Sarawak. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. This leaf was quite small when I got it, and it has now grown to be so big and beautiful, and it's still not stopped growing. So, again, not quite ready for a trellis, but I'm going to put one on it anyway because it needs a repot. As you can see, super well rooted in there. So I'm gonna be putting it on a large trellis. Look at that thing. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable. <laughs> So 
this is my Hoya Macrophylla out of variegated and it's doing all right in this pot but it is pretty pretty root bound and it's just in straight tree fern fiber and I would like to transfer it into our houseplant mix so I'm going to do that now and I'm going to give it an upgrade I'm going to put it into a 14 centimeter pot I'm going to use some of this velcro tape for this one because it doesn't quite reach the pole yet um, but it definitely needs some support so I'm going to just chop a bit off and just wrap it around so I can still attach it to the pole without it being too rough. And that's the macrophylla done as well. So this is my Hoya obovata in a variegated. And as you can see, it's getting a bit too much sun, I think, in this greenhouse. Because this is what it should look like. And this is what it is looking like. It actually looks like it might even be reverting a little bit. So we're going to give her a pole, put her in a bit more shade, and see how she goes. This one is also going to get a 14 centimeter upgrade. So I'm going to go grab another pot. Look at those roots though, man. Unbelievable. All trellis and ready to go. And I think this is the point where I'm going to take some off the table. So let's do that. This is my Hoya Species F Brutinae. Um, it's doing really, really well on this little trellis. As you can see, it's climbing very nicely. Um, but I'm going to put it into a bigger pot because it's probably due for a repot anyway. And as you can see, there's a little bit of algae buildup in the pot here. It doesn't normally hurt the plant, but it's just a little bit ugly. So I'm just going to give it a repot anyway. Now I am moving on to some slightly larger Hoya. This is my Hoya Crimson Queen. As you can see, she is thriving as she is. She's been growing up this pole for, I'd say, two or three months now. And she is just doing absolutely fantastic. But I'm going to unpot her from here because she is in straight tree fern fiber at the moment. And again, I just want to pop her straight into our houseplant mix. Not really for any particular reason. I'm just finding that lately uh, my tree fern fiber has been drying out really, really quickly. And I've been super busy with the business lately. I haven't actually had a lot of time to come and award my plants. So it's only going to get hotter from here. It's only the beginning of spring here in New Zealand. So I'm just wanting to put it into something that holds slightly more moisture for a little bit longer. Just to, you know, save my plants a little bit of misery. So I'm just going to unpot it from this pot, put it back into the same pot because it doesn't actually need a pot upgrade. I'm just going to upgrade the substrate and then put it right back as it is. And I might do a little bit of trimming just to get some propagations off of her because she is getting quite long. Uh, but yeah, let's do that. All right, so I've changed my mind with the Crimson Queen. Um, she is just so beautiful. I don't want to chop her up just yet. So I'm going to be double planting her again into one of our 17 centimeter hanging pots. I am going to probably do either another complete video or at the end of this, I'm gonna be doing all of my hanging Hoya as well. Um, we'll just have to see how long this video is gonna be. <laughs> So there we go, it is now all potted up in the 17 centimeter hanging pot. And yeah, it's just too beautiful to chop for now. So that is that one. Now we're gonna deal with this beaut. Look at her. I am just so in love with this girl. This is my Hoya fungi, fungi, whatever you wanna call it. It's actually got a little peduncle going at the moment under there. Look at that, how cute. Um, but it does need something done to it because it is way too top heavy at the moment. I think this girl is going to get a chop because oh, she's just so big. A chop and then a repot back into the same pot, I think. So yeah, let's get on to that. Sorry, girl. Three, two, one. Ah. So I'm going to propagate those and then pot the rest of it up. <laughs> I'm actually going to repot her into a 17 centimeter pot. And then I'm going to pin these up like so. Ta da! So much more manageable. <laughs> and I have a few cuttings to put up as well, so that's really nice. Next is my Hoya Australis Lisa, which again has been a little bit neglected. Um, it's not actually even on a trellis yet. Um, and I think it might be slightly reverting. It's not too bad, but it's not the greatest either. So we need to get into this gal. And sort her out. So again, I'm going to repot up a size. This is a 15 centimeter. So I'm actually going to go to a 17 centimeter with this one and trellis it. So let me grab another pot. It's got beautiful roots on it. Look at that. Nice. All right, trellis and twirl. 
anti-clockwise. Practice what you preach. One Hoya Australis Lisa. Ready to go. So I do have a few more to do, but those are mainly hanging Hoya. So the Hoya that I am hanging in my pots from the ceiling of my greenhouse, I'm gonna be doing those in a separate video because I think there's gonna be way too much for this video already. Um, so let me take you over and show you what I've got and we'll water them all and then we'll call it a day. So this is the long line of Hoya we have repotted today. It goes all the way down to the end there. So what I'm going to do now to finish off the day is I'm going to go along all of these and give them a water and a fertilize. I always water my Hoya first and then fertilize them because once the soil is fully wet your roots of your plants are able to absorb the fertilizer better. Did you know that? Now you do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the fertilizer I'm going to be using is the Growth Technology Complete Focus. Um, I do have a lot of different fertilizers on my website at the moment. Um, the main reason I'm choosing to use this one is honestly quite simple. It's almost out, so I'm just going to use this one up. This one is still perfect for Hoya though. So what I do is I get my watering can and I will take a couple of droppers of it and pop it in my watering can, fill it up with water and water them like that. So now that they've all been watered and are draining, I've had to do a little bit of rearranging. So I have added a shelf into here and I've actually taken the shelf out of the top here and put it down here. We made the shelves removable. Thank you, hubby. And I'm going to be popping them all on here. The trellis are too tall to go on one of these shelves. So it's gonna go between two of them. So yeah, let's pop them all on the shelf. So there we have it, the final product. Everything is repotted, trellised, and ready to grow on for the spring season. Hopefully by the end of spring, there will be more than enough growth on here to start chopping and propagating for the shop. And then this time next year, we will have a very nice range of Hoya available. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me repot all of these Hoya. There will be a part two coming in which I'm going to be doing all of these pots you can see up here on the greenhouse those are all my hanging hoya i'm going to be doing those in the next video and maybe a few others but we'll just have to have a, a look behind the scenes and see what we're going to do next but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video it's nice being able to do some like planty content again because it's been a lot of vlogs and stuff over the last few months so if you did like this video and want to see more like this make sure to hit the big like button down below it's really helpful and lets me know what kind of content you guys want to see from me and also consider hitting the subscribe button we'd love for you to join our channel and come along on our journey as a small business and you know follow us on our houseplant journey as well so thank you thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and i will see you in the next video bye <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. because obviously the trailer hello Ta -da! we have three plants on oops profile snow da -da, da -da, dun, dun, dun. forever needing more soil Let's get down, let's get down to business. <laughs> I really need to cut up those. <laughs> so what I do is I get my watering can, which is somewhere in this mess of a greenhouse.